Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to some EVO Line and in today's video I'm going to discuss the uh, Heisig Ghost sites a little bit because I finally came across my first BPC not only did I come across a first BPC but I had two of them from a single ghost site and here you can see me uh, grab the low grade ascendancy implant BPC after that I rush for the second one where there is a low grade ascendancy beta uh, BPC in there that's like extremely lucky um, so I, I did go for that as quickly as possible uh, now I'm, I'm recording the audio afterwards because I was actually already working on another video when I came across this ghost site so luckily Fraps was on and I just uh, started recording the video footage uh, just in case it would come in handy and I think it will uh, so you can see that I'm checking the rest of it. It looks to me like CCP has, has like upped the amounts a little bit and made them a little bit easier. Uh, because uh, as you can see, um, I have a long distance to travel uh, towards the, the second BPC. So I hurry up there. The music is picking up, however. And here come the spawns. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm totally screwed. Uh, but nope, I do get in range and I start the hack. And then surprisingly enough, uh, they don't seem to be firing right away anymore. So I managed to get the hack very quickly, grab the loot, and uh, I, I just done a, a ghost site previously as well, uh, which is why my shields were gone. So they blow up uh, all the installations. Um, I have a 1600 millimeter plate in that Ishtar, so it's all good. I survive and I do grab two BPCs from a single ghost site. That's that's an amazing amount of loot. Um, and actually what we'll do right after this is I will head to Dodixie uh, where I'll have a look at the actual economics of these high uh, implant BPCs because um, yeah, they actually do take some, some special ghost site materials to produce. So uh, I'll see you in a few minutes uh, or in a few seconds, I should say, right in Dodixie and then uh, we'll have a look at the economics of these BPCs. And here we are, welcome to Dodixie. So let's have a look at uh, what it is actually that I found in those um, in that ghost site a low grade ascendancy alpha blueprint and a low grade ascendancy beta blueprint so first uh, thing i'll do is have a look at the bill of material uh, materials 45 morphite 20 shattered village wheels uh, 321 cryo what the hell cryo protectant solution and 293 synthetic synapses let's compare that to the other bpc six uh, 65 morphite, 23 village wheels, 293 cryoprotectant solutions, and uh, 335 gel matrix bio pastes. So let's let's uh, see actually what this is going to cost us. Um, let's average it out to 8,700 for the morphite. I think this is one is a little bit more expensive. So let's take this one, 8,700 times 65. That is a Hmm, that's okay, Five, 500, um, 500,000 ISK, that's all, that's that's quite all right. Shattered Village Wheels, 145,000 at time 23, so 145,000 times 23 is 3.3 uh, million, so let's make that 4 million in cost. But here is, of course, where the real uh, cost is going to come. Um, 79,000. So, 79,000 times... Two, uh, let's make it 300, just to have it easy. That's 23.7 million, putting us at, uh, well, close to 28 million. And then this one, gel matrix. Hmm... 78,000, right? That's actually okay, I feel. 78,000 times 335 is another 26 million and 28 million. Uh, 40, 54, yeah, let's say 50 to, uh, 50 to 55 million in cost uh, to produce one of these uh, BPCs. Uh, of course, the shattered field wheels, if you do some high sick uh, ghost sites you will have those I have plenty of them 
uh, for the Sh Shadow of Villard wheels. But yeah, let's let's say 50 to 55 million in production cost for the implant. And of course, we'll have to have a look at what the implants are worth here in the Dixie. 90 million. So okay, that's not as good as what I'd first seen. Um, I'd seen a price like that before. Uh, in local where I found uh, the BPCs around 200 million but it's looking like they're coming down towards 90 million it's still a, a very nice profit of uh, of 40 million uh, I skip for one of these BPCs so that's definitely not bad let's have a look at this one 84 million so that one's going down a little bit as well people are actually starting to find the BPCs and bringing them to the market here we're looking at something like 30 million ISK in profit uh, but yeah, that means one ghost site, 70 million, plus a little bit of extra from uh, Shattered Villard wheels and stuff like that. Um, if if I'd found them earlier, I'm pretty sure my margin would have been a lot higher, but still it's it's close to 80, 90% uh, profit on, on the investment you have to make for the raw materials, which I think is pretty damn good. Uh, 40, 50 million uh, just for a BPC that you can find in a site, which you do in two, three minutes is pretty damn awesome so yeah very lucky um, on my end to find two of these ppcs i will definitely look into producing them uh, very soon and bring them to the market or maybe i'll keep them for myself uh, we'll we'll see but uh, yeah that's it guys a quick look at uh, some of the ghost site economics now that i finally found my first two bpcs thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time